வீட்டில் என்ன நாளை கேட்டேன் ஹலோ ஸ்ரீ குருபியோ நமஹா ஸ்ருதிஸ்மிருதி புராணம் ஆலயம் கருணாலயம் நமாய் பகவத் பாதசங்கரம் லோகசங்கரம் எல்லோருக்கும் நமஸ்காரம் இண்டீட் வி ஆர் அகெயின் வெரி ஃபார்ச்சுனேட் டு ஹாவ் சுவாமிஜி மிஸ்டர்ஸ் பட் பிஃபோர் ஹீ கமென்சஸ் ஹிஸ் பிரவச்சன் ஐ வுட் ரிக்வெஸ்ட் ஸ்ரீதர் ஜி ஹூ இஸ் பீன் அசோசியேட்டட் வித் ஹிம் ஃபார் மெனி மெனி இயர்ஸ் Uh, to grace this occasion he will speak a few words before he commences his pravachan thank you for your cooperation thank you கோஹம் விசார நிரம் தூதவேஷம் தம் சைத்தியூபவுஷம் பிரணமாமி மூர்தனாவாச்சமிமாசுத்தீவயத்தியிலசக்திரஸ்வதாம் அன்யாஸ்தஸ்தரணீன பிராணமோ புருஷாயம் ோதேலுஜன்மசமர்ஜிதேனேதுமோஹமதாந்தாரநாசம் விதாயி தயத்தே விவேக இது ஸ்ரீமத்பாகவதமாத்மியத்தில் இருக்கிற ஸ்லோகம் ஈஸ்வர கிருப்ப பகவத் கிருப்ப அப்படிங்கிறத நம்ம வாழ்க்கையில் எப்படி உணர முடியும் எப்படி தெரிஞ்சிக்க முடியும் அப்படின்னா ஒரே ஒரு விஷயத்த தான் தெரிஞ்சிக்க முடியும் எப்போ நமக்கு மகாபுருஷ சம்பர்க்கம் வாழ்க்கையில் கிடைக்கிறதும் எல்லாரும் வாழ்க்கையில் வாழ்ந்துட்டு போகிறோம் ஆனால் ஒரு சத்சங்கம் கிடச்சி ஒரு நல்ல குருநாத்தாள் அவருடைய சம்பர்க்கம் நமக்கு வாழ்க்கையில் கிடைச்ச பிறகு அந்த வாழ்க்கை வேறு தான் எல்லாரும் இதே ஜலத்தை தான் குடிக்கிறா எல்லாரும் இதே காற்றை தான் எல்லா பஞ்சபூதங்களையும் உபயோகம் பண்ணுறோம் ஆனால் அவ நமக்கு வேற ஏதோ ஒன்று நம்ம ஹிருதயத்தில் கொடுத்துட்றா எல்லாரும் இதே வாழ்க்கை தான் வாழ்ந்துட்டு போகிறோம் 
எல்லார் வாழ்க்கையிலும் பிராரப்தம் சுக துக்கங்கள் வந்து போனாலும் கூட இது எல்லாத்தையும் தாண்டி நிற்கக்கூடிய ஒரு மருந்து அதை நமக்கு அவ நம்ம ஹிரதயத்தில் வித்து போட்டு விட்டுடுறான் அதனால் சத்சங்கம் கிடச்சிட்டவாள் அவ வேற ஒரு நல்ல மகாபுருஷ சம்பர்க்கம் கிடச்சிட்டவா நல்ல குருநாதாவுடைய சங்கம் வாழ்க்கையில் கிடச்சிட்டவா அவ பார்த்தாலே தெரியும் அவளில் இருக்கிற பக்தி அடக்கம் இன்னும் பல விஷயங்கள் அதுதான் இங்கே சொலரா பாக்யோதயேன பகுஜன்ம சமர்ஜிதேன சத்சங்கமம் சலபதி அது நமக்கு பாரத தேசத்தில் இது ரொம்ப சுலபமாக எல்லா இடத்துலையும் கிடைக்கிறதுனால சிலவாட்டி ஓ இது கிடச்சது எத்தனையோ இடத்துல கிடச்சிருக்கு அப்படின்னு தோழிடும் ஆனால் அப்படி இல்லாத அதை உணர்ந்து அந்த சத்சங்கத்தில் இருக்கும் பொழுது அது நமக்கு பிரயோஜனப்படும் அது எத்தனையோ ஜென்மத்தில் பண்ணின சுகிருத்த பலனால் சத்சங்கமம் சலபதி சாது சங்கம் ஒரு மனுஷனுக்கு வாழ்க்கையில் கிடைக்கிறதும் இது கிடைச்சா என்ன ஆகும் அப்படின்னு அதே ஸ்லோகம் சொல்லுறது புருஷோ யதாவை அஜான ஹேது கிருத மோக மதாந்தகார நாசம் விதாயகி ததோதயத்தே விவேகா அப்படின்னுட்டு அஜானம் அவித்தியோட காரணத்தினால நம்ம வாழ்க்கையில் கஷ்டப்படுறோம் சிரமப்படுறோம் அந்த சிரமத்தெல்லாம் போக்கி விசிரமத்தை கொடுத்துருது ஒரு சாந்தியை கொடுக்கறது சாது சங்கம் அதுபோல் ஒரு மகாபுருஷ சம்பர்க்கம் நமக்கு இன்னைக்கு கிடச்சிருக்கு இது பிரத்யக்ஷமாக ஈஸ்வரானுகிரகம் ஈஸ்வர கிருப அதை நம்ம உணர்ந்து அந்த ஆனந்தத்தை பெறுவோமாக குறைபடக்கூடாது அவள் கிடச்சாச்சுன்னா நம்ம வாழ்க்கையில் என்றைக்குமே குறைபட குறை இருக்கும் ஒரு பக்கம் ஆனால் இதை நினச்சிண்டு இதை நினச்சிண்டு இப்படி பகவான் ஒரு கிருப்பை பண்ணினாரே இப்படி கிருப்பை பண்ணினாரே இது அப்படின்னு நினச்சிண்டு அதுக்கு கண்ணீர் விட்டுண்டு அந்த ஆனந்தத்தில் இருந்துட்டு போகிறதுக்கே நமக்கு போகிற வாழ்க்கை அந்த பாகியம் எல்லாருக்கும் கிடச்சிருக்கு அது எல்லாரும் அனுபவிப்போம் கோபிகா ஜீவன ஸ்மரணம் கோவிந்த் சத்குரு மகராஜ் கி ஜய் ஓம் நம பரமரிஷிபியோ நம பரமரிஷிபிய ஹரி ஓம் அந்தராயத்திமிரோபாந்தாந்தபாவனமச்சிய வைபவம் தன்னரம் வபுஷி குஞ்சரம் முகே மன்மகே கிமி துந்திலம் மகா குருர்பிரம்மா குருர்விஷ்ணு குருர்தேவோ மகேஸ்வர குரு சாட் பரம் பிரம்ம தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீகுரவே நம ஈஸ்வரோ குருராத்மேதி மூர்த்திபேத விபாகினே வியோமவியாப்தேகாய தட்சிணாமூர்த்தையே நம யாந்தன்னாதிமம் நிகரச்சரணம் நாமகோத்திரம் ந சூத்திரம் நோஜாத்தியன்னைவர்ணாஷோ நாபும்சம் நீ நாக்காரம் நோ விகாரம் நஹி ஜனிமரணம் நாஸ்தி புண்ணியம் ந பாபம் தத்வம் நோ தத்வமேக்கம் சஹஜசமரசம் சத்குரு தம் நமாமி சதாசிவசமாரம் சங்கராச்சாரியமியமாம் அஸ்மதாச்சாரியபரியந்தாம் வந்தே குரு பரம்பராம் மௌனவியாக்கியபிரம்மத்தம் யுவானம் வரிஷிஷ்டாந்தேவசிகணைராவத்தம் பிரம்மனிஷ்டை ஆச்சாரியேந்திரம் கரகலிதச்சின்முமானந்தூபம் ஸ்வாத்மாராமம் முதிதவதனம் தட்சிணாமூர்த்திமீடே வேதாந்தாத்தவிபாசகாயத்தாந்தாயசன்னியாசினே நானாவாதினகேந்திரசங்கபவயே யோகேந்திரவந்தியாய 
ಮೋಹಧ್ವಾಂತಿವಾಕರಾಯ ಭಗವತ್ಪಾದಿಭ್ರತಿ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಭಾಷ್ಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ಸತತ ಪೂರ್ಣಾಯ ಬೋಧಾತ್ಮನೆ ಅಪಾರ ಸಚ್ಚಿತ್ಸುಖವಾರಿರಾಶೇ ಯೋರ್ಮಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಭುವನ ಸಮಸ್ತ ಗುಹಾಹಿದ ತಂ ರಮಣ ಗಭೀರ ಚಿಂತಾವಿಹೀನ ಹೃದಿ ಚಿಂತೆಯಿ ದೇಹ ಮೃಣ್ಮಯವಜ್ಜಡಾತ್ಮಕಮಹಂ ಬುದ್ಧಿರ್ನ ತಸ್ಯಾಸ್ತು ನಾಹಂ ತತ್ತದಭಾವಸುಪ್ತಿಸಮೇ ಸಿದ್ಧಾತ್ಮಸದ್ಭಾವದ ಕೋಹಂ ಭಾವಯುತ ಕುತೋ ವರಧಿಯ ದೃಷ್ಟ್ವಾತ್ಮನಿಷ್ಠಾತ್ಮನ ಸೋಹಂ ಸ್ಫೂರ್ತಿದಯ ಅರುಣಾಚಲಶಿವ ಪೂರ್ಣೋ ವಿಭಾತಿ ಸ್ವಯಂ ಶೋಣಪ್ರಭಂ ಸೋಮಕಲಾವತ ಸಂ ಪಾಣಿಸ್ಫುರತ್ಪಂಚಶರೇಕ್ಷು ಚಾಪಂ ಪ್ರಾಣಪ್ರಿಯ ನೌಮಿ ಪಿನಾಕಪಾಣೇ ಕೋಣತ್ರಯಸ್ಥಂ ಕುಲದೈವ ನಃ ಯೋಂತ ಪ್ರವಿಶ್ಯ ಮಮವಾಚ ಇಮಂ ಪ್ರಸುಪ್ತ ಸಂಜೀವಯತ್ಯಖಿಲ ಶಕ್ತಿಧರ ಸ್ವಧಾಂ ನಾಂ ಅನ್ಯಾಂ ಶಹಸ್ತಚರಣಶ್ರವಣತ್ವಗಾದೀನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾನ್ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ಪುರುಷಾಯ ತುಭ್ಯಂ ಜನ್ಮಾದ್ಯಸ್ಯತೋನ್ವಯಾಧಿತರತಸ್ಥೇಸ್ವಿಜ್ಞಸ್ವರಾಡ್ ತೇ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಹೃದಯ ಆಧಿಕದ್ವಯ ಮುಹ್ಯಂತ ಯತ್ಸೂರಯ ತೇಜೋ ವಾರಿ ಮೃದ ಯಥಾವಿನಿಮಯೋತ್ರಿಸರ್ಗೋ ಮೃಷಾ ಧಾಂ ನ ಸ್ವೇನ ಸದಾ ನಿರಸ್ತಕುಹಕ ಸತ್ಯ ಪರಂ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಕಸ್ಮೈಯೇನ ವಿಭಾಸಿತೋಯಮತುಲೋ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಪ್ರದೀಪ ಪುರ ತದ್ರೂಪೇಣ ಚ ನಾರದ ಯಮುನಯೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ತದ್ರೂಪಿಣ ಯೋಗೀಂದ್ರಾಯ ತದಾತ್ಮನಾಥ ಭಗವದ್ರಾತಯ ಕಾರುಣ್ಯತ ತತ್ಶುದ್ಧ ವಿಮಲ ವಿಶೋಕಮೃತ ಸತ್ಯ ಪರಂ ಧೀಮಹಿ ಧರ್ಮ ಪ್ರೋಜ್ಜಿತೈತವೋತ್ರ ಪರಮೋ ನಿರ್ಮತ್ಸರಾಂ ಸತಾಂ ವೇದ್ಯ ವಾಸ್ತವಮತ್ರ ವಸ್ತು ಶಿವದಂ ತಾಪತ್ರೋನ್ಮೂಲ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ಭಾಗವತೆ ಮಹಾಮುನಿ ಕಂ ವಾ ಪರೈ ಈಶ್ವರ ಸದ್ಯೋ ಹೃದ್ಯವರುಧ್ಯತೆತ್ರ ಕೃತಿ ಶುಶ್ರೂಷಿ ವಿಸ್ತಕ್ಷಣಾತ್ ನಿಗಮಕಲ್ಪದರೋರ್ಗಳಿತ ಫಲಂ ಶುಕಮುಖಾತಮೃತ್ರವ ಸಂಯುತ ಪಿಬದ ಭಾಗವತ ರಸ ಆಲಯ ಮುಹುರಹೋ ರಸಿಕಾ ಭುವಿ ಭಾವುಕಾ ಯಂ ಪ್ರವ್ರಜಂತ ಅನುಪೇತ ಅಪೇತಕೃತ್ಯ ದ್ವೈಪಾಯನೋ ವಿರಹಕಾತರ ಆಜುಹಾವ ಪುತ್ರೇದಿ ತನ್ಮಯತೆಯ ತರವೋಭಿನೇತುಹೂತ ಸರ್ವೂತ ಹೃದಯ ಮುನಿ ಆನತೋಸ್ಮಿ ಯಸ್ವಾನುಭಾವಖಿಲ ಶ್ರುತಿ ಸಾರಮೇಕ ಅಧ್ಯಾತ್ಮದೀಪ ಅತಿಥಿತೀರ್ಷದ ತಮೋಂಧ ಸಂಸಾರಿಣ ಕರುಣಯ ಪುರಾಣಗುಹ್ಯ ತಂ ವ್ಯಾಸೋನು ಮುಪಯಾಮಿ ಗುರು ಮುನೀ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸರಸ್ವತೀಂ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇದ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದಾಯ ವಿಶ್ವತ್ಪತ್ತಿಹೇತೇತಾಪತ್ರಯ ವಿನಾಶಾಯ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣಾಯ ವಯಂ ನಮಃ by the abandoned krupa of bhagwan we are here 
for this three sessions of bhagavatam pravachanam satsanga for the second time about last few months before the same way we had three sessions we are here back to continue that session in english last time we had three talks on the first verse second verse and third verse dhyana shloka of shrimad bhagavatam it's all there recorded so we need not repeat them but the important points we can just recollect before entering this talk the first entry is by meditation on truth satyam satyam param dhimahi this is how bhagavatam began satyam is another name for bhagavan that which is eternal shashvata ananda swarupa when we say ananda bliss it means also shanti shanti is the highest rasa all the rasas are like rivers they flow into the ocean of shanti shantim nirvana paramam matsamstham adhigachati in shrimad bhagavad gita krishna says one attains that shanti which is otherwise called as nirvana shantim nirvana paramam matsamstham adhigachati a true spiritual seeker a jignasu bhagavatam begins with brahma jignasa you may call brahman you may call bhagavan paramatma anything vadanti tat tatva vidah tatvam yat jnanam advayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavan iti shabdyate ब्रह्म इति परमात्मा इति भगवान इति शब्द्यते शब्द मीन्स वेद वेद कॉल्स इट एज ब्रह्मन एज परमात्मा एज भगवान द पुराण एज कॉल इट एज भगवान द उपनिषद से परमात्मा ब्रह्मन सो इट्स ऑल सेम it is that highest jnanam jnanam advayam so we all know bhagavatam is bhakti but here we say jnanam advayam what to say what to do bhagavatam begins like that in the very beginning bhagavatam says what we are going to speak about it is jnanam advayam that advaita jnana 
okay starting it says like that let us see what it says in the end in the conclusion upakramopah samharabhyam a shastra nirnaya is done by looking at the beginning and the end so in the end kasmayena vibhasito yam atulo jnana pradeepah puram in the beginning long before in even before the creation a profound light was lit jnana pradeepa and what is that pradeepa it is jnana pradeepa it is the light of jnanam atma jnana hmm? sarva vedanta saram hi ಶ್ರೀಭಾಗವತಂ ಇಷ್ಯತೆ ಭಾಗವತ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವೇದಾಂತ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೈರಾಗ್ಯ ದಿಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಆರ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ತ್ರಿಫಲ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಮೆಡಿಸಿನ್ ತ್ರಿಫಲ and bhagavatam is a trifala nigama kalpadaroho galitam phalam shukamukhat amrutadrava sanyutam the greatest of the teachers that shukacharya as speaking bhagavatam and it is amrutadrava Uh, drava means liquid it means teertha it is flowing from shukacharya and what should we do pibada bhagavatam pibada bhagavatam rasam pibada it is rasam you can just drink it you need not even masticate the fruit is just squeezed and made juice so you can drink it so it contains what it contains jnanam it contains bhakti it contains vairagya bhakti okay jnanam also okay but vairagya mm-hmm. by mark what is that name vairagya i am afraid and what is vairagya vairagya is that that picture you see in bhagavatam such a great king who is he yaar parikshit hmm? so parikshit himself means he was constantly doing some research pariksha and his lab is this life itself everything he was exploring looking into discriminating and found out that everything is anitya vimarshitau heyataya purastat parikshit says i have looked into everything and found out that it's all meaningless nonsense and the only thing that is meaningful is krishnaanghri sevam adhimanyamanah upavishat prayam amartyanadyam he found out that the only thing meaningful is to have that bhakti to realize bhagavan to realize the highest that nirvana that jnanam because how did he get this vairagya one brahmana child brahmin boy he just gave a curse on the seventh day you will die it is just like astrology he only predicted the seventh day he was about to die that boy just told that you will die at least parikshit has the certainty that seven days death will not come but can we say that 
still what courage hmm see we are all actually very very courageous people and bartrihari says drishtva janma jara vipatti maranam trasasana utpadyate they are seeing birth they are seeing old age they are seeing death they are seeing so much tragedy around and they are not afraid and they are very courageous people pitva mohamayim pramadamadiram unmatta bhutam jagat intoxicated by drinking the wine of delusion so this king with so much courage found out that only bhagavan is satyam shri ramakrishna very often you used to say like a mantram in vedanta we say brahma satyam jagan mithya but when you listen to it it will look like a philosophy dry but ramakrishna will say bhagavan alone is true everything else is false when you hear that it looks very sweet because bhagavan is there no when when you say bhagavan it is very intimate but if you say brahman we don't know what it is so here one finds out that bhagavan alone is real dukhani alokya jantushu alam udita vivekoham आचार्य वर्यात लब्ध्वाद्रूपतत्म गुणचरितकथाति उद्भवद्भक्तिभूमा माया मेना तरिवा परमसुखमे तत्पदे मोदिदाहे तस्या पूर्वरंग पवनपुरपदे नाशया शेष रोगा very beautiful verse from narayaniam where bhatadri says by observing that there is sorrow in the world everyone is seeing but very few people wake up but constantly by observing it the hidden intelligence wakes up that viveka shakti it wakes up udit viveka and then what does he do then he decides i have to find out that truth by knowing which i will be free that i will find out that shanti that nirvana paramam shantim experientially you have to investigate experientially you can say what it is it is shanti hmm? when people all from everywhere from the world they came to bhagwan ramana maharshi there was nothing special sometimes maharshi used to remark all these people are coming taking so much trouble because a mottai is sitting here a kovanath aandi is sitting here he says a tonsured sadhu a mundita shiraska with only kaupina is sitting here and all these people are put into trouble that they are traveling so much to see him what is there and what is there it is nothing but shantim nirvana paramam that shanti which is otherwise called as nirvana निर्वापित अज्ञान द अज्ञान इज रिमूव्ड सो द आत्मस्वरूप इज शाइनिंग फोर्थ द निर्विकल्प अनुभव इज शाइनिंग फोर्थ द शांति इज सो पाल्पबल इन द प्रेसेंस ऑफ ए जीवन मुक्त सो वेर विल यू गो एंड सर्च फॉर ए जीवन मुक्त इवन फॉर परीक्षित इट इज डिफिकल्ट सी परीक्षित इज नॉट एन ऑर्डनरी पर्सन he was initiated by krishna when he was in the womb of his mother in the garbha patra of his mother so when he was inside uttara 
what did uttara do she went to rush to krishna and surrendered this is what every mother should do bhagavatam will carry a message to everyone hmm si shankaracharya renounced his home relatives everyone when he was only 8 years old but when he was about to leave his mother aryamba was crying and he said see my beloved mother even a drop of tear from your eye will make my spiritual quest unsuccessful yatr naryastu pujyante ramante tatra devataah where women are worshiped where women are worshiped all the devatas you know you they, they are all respected they will be happy yatra etastu na pujyante where women are not worshiped respected whatever good thing they will do it will be all useless sarvas tatra aphala kriya and even a one drop of tear from your eye my spiritual life will go when i tell this another story i am reminded so i will come to it so shankaracharya said amma whenever you are going to leave your body you just remember me wherever i am i will rush to you whether it is day time or night or whatever it might be anyam ratri samaye samayantare va whether it is ratri or day time samayantare va sanchintayasv svavashaga avashaga tava pimam ಯೇಷ್ಯಾಮಿ ತತ್ರ ಸಮಯ ಸಕಲ ವಿಹಾಯ ವಿಶ್ವಾಸಮಾಪುನು ಹಿ ಮೃತಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕರಿಷ್ಯ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಕಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸರ್ವ್ ಯು ಯುವರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಕ್ರಿಮೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಮೀ ಸೊ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ರಾಮಿಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಆರ್ಯಾಂಬಾ ದೇವಿ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಮದರ್ಸ್ anugrah was there so shri ramakrishna one day sharada devi was weeping ramakrishna said no 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 if you weep all my tapas will go all my tapas will go even if a little bit of tear fall from your eyes so this was the way that when you go to spiritual life the first blessing comes from mother and parikshit had that blessing that his mother uttara she was carrying this child in her womb and then you all know the story that nasty brahmana ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಬಂಧು ಅಶ್ವತ್ಥಾಮ ವೆರಿ ಟರಿಬಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಎ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಎ ಟರಿಬಲ್ ವೆಪನ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಶೀರ್ಷ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ವೆಪನ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ವೂಂಬ್ ಆಫ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಟು ಬರ್ನ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ದನ್ ಉತ್ತರ ರಷ್ಟ್ all relatives were standing there dharma putra was standing there the fat bhima was standing there valaras arjuna was standing there nakula was there sahadeva was there everyone was there she did not even care to look at them she was just screaming pahi pahi um, eh ಪಾಹಿ ಪಾಹಿ ಮಹಾಯೋಗಿನ್ ದೇವ ದೇವ ಜಗತ್ಪತಿ ಓ ಲಾಡ್ ಪಾಹಿ ಪಾಹಿ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ಮಚ್ 
prayer nothing else see when you have some trouble you know you have to know how to convert it as a spiritual experience by talking to bhagwan bhakti means you have to learn the art of communicating with bhagwan and when you can effectively communicate only when you have some pain that is why uh, kunti said i always prefer some suffering because whenever suffering comes i am able to use it as a fuel to light this spiritual fire so i am ready to receive all suffering vipadaha santuna shashvat constantly there is suffering constantly there is bhakti whenever there is pain i will call krishna 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 pahi 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 you have to people have a wrong notion that you should not tell about your trouble to bhagwan artha bhakti is also a bhakti kamya bhakti is also a bhakti kamana is not good kamya bhakti is good arti is not good artha bhakti is good okay you should not ask anything provided you are not asking anybody you are not even thinking about that trouble that is jnanam when you have jnanam you don't ask anybody you don't even think about trouble you are absolutely desireless that is the highest second is when you have some trouble even for small thing you can ask bhagwan so that it will become a spiritual practice where you learn the art of communicating with him trinavakar swami gal a great shiva bhakta he says my mind is like a parrot a bird i will feed it with uh, nectar and that nectar is bhagavan nama lord's name is the nectar i will feed that bird with that nectar and i will protect the bird from getting corrupted from the world and i will teach all the disciplines to this bird and at last after all this training i will make this bird a good messenger to my beloved that is bhagwan othu paingaliye onbal amudooti paadugaathu parpala karpith and last he says udoodu vidathan thodangume it will start become a duti it will become a messenger good communicator with the lord so when you have some trouble you should be intelligent enough to use that energy that fire to talk to bhagwan speak to bhagwan you see narayaniyam is so powerful why everybody is finding narayaniyam so powerful he had some trouble and he spoke to guru vairapan when there is trouble your words with bhagwan will have that power and the greatest trouble that can come to a person is mumukshutva because you at last find out that the entire world is grief suffering and when that kind of trouble comes your bhakti is so intense your talking with bhagwan is so intense you will not ask for any worldly things then you ask bhagwan protect me from this samsara you don't need anything else just protect me from samsara and you can just chant this nama that's a shri krishna krishna vrishni saka ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ 
it's to chandrachuda that shiva and only nama many names are chanted and at last he says bhagwan protect me he chandrachuda madanantaka shula pani sthano girish girijesh mahesh shambho bhidesh bhudesh bhidabhay sudanam anatham samsara dukkha gahanad jagadish raksha हे भूदेश भीत भय सूदन आई एम रियली अफ्रेड अनाथम आई हैव नो अदर रेफ्यूज संसार दुख गहनाद जगदीश रक्ष फ्रॉम दिस अनबियरेबल सॉरो सफरिंग ऑफ दिस संसार ओ लॉर्ड प्रोटेक्ट मी प्रोटेक्ट मी सो दिस मच भक्ति इज इन अफ यू नीड नॉट नो एनीथिंग एल्स you just learn to know that bhagwan ek keshava narayana madhava govinda pahimam that's all you can e very easily write sanskrit poetry sam nama and last pahimam if poetry is not coming you can write a song achutam keshavam ram narayanam कृष्ण दामोदर वासुदेव भजे शंकराचार्य वेन यू वॉज फोर और फाइव इयर्स ओल्ड ही रोट दिस वर्स पर हैप्स ओनली नाम नथिंग एल्स अच्छुत केशव राम नारायण कृष्ण दामोदर वासुदेव भजे सो जस्ट प्रोटेक्ट मी दैट्स ऑल एंड दैट इज वॉट हू डिड फॉर गॉट Where are we now? Hmm? Uttara hmm? said that Uttara rushed to Krishna and said, "Pahi pahi, Mahayogin Deva Deva Jagatpade, Nanyam Tvada Bhayam Pashye, Yatra Murtyu Parasparam." Spiritual life becomes really intense when you know that nothing else wor- will work. आत्मज्ञाद अन्यत्र शरण शरण अपश्यम केनोपनिषद भाष्यम ते दट केनोपनिषद भाष्यम वी वर् सीइंग द शिष्य कम्स टू गुरु विथ दट वन अंडरस्टैंडिंग दट देर इज नो अदर वे अदर दैन दिस नॉलेज ऑफ द सेल्फ सो हियर उत्तरा आल्सो सेइस come to bhagavan and tells him nanyam sharanyam pashye i don't see any other refuge of krishna apart from you i don't find any other refuge no other person to give me protection nanyam tvadabhayam pashye wherever i look there is fear entire world is full of fear wherever you look death is running about mrityu dhavati the upanishad says mrityu means death dhavati means running wherever you see it is there so i don't find any other refuge give me sharanam abhayam saying this uttara just fell before krishna <coughs> parikshit with so much pride says matushave ya sharanam gatayaha my mother she surrendered to bhagwan and here i am sitting at the feet of sukacharya by her grace i got sukacharya i got bhagavatam i am drinking this nectar of apayati govind padapadma savam madhu this honey this nectar of bhagavatam i am drinking by the grace of my mother matushame ya sharanam gataya the shruti also says matruman pitruman acharyavan and you know when the mother surrendered and what did she say 
she said krishna protect my child how to protect see there is no other protection than this jnanam all other protections are temporary all other protections are temporary la kaapatrayam abdinu illa konja nerathukku dhaan shashvatham alla kaapatha mudiyadu that real protection is this jnanam that is why when kapila bhagavan was born kardama prajapati took to sanyasa he just parivrajya then he just looked at his wife devahuti what should i do then kapila said don't fear about her i will do what is needed and kardama looked at him what will you do he said matra adhyatmikim vidyam shamanim sarva karmanam vitarishye yayachaso bhayam cha atitarishyati i will bestow that knowledge of the self to mother by which she will cross this ocean of fear no other way i can protect the only protection that can be given is this gnanam this atma gnanam this knowledge of the self that i will give to her so no more now you need not think about her you just walk that's all he just walked away so this knowledge this gnanam is abhayam and knowing this parikshit left to ganga ganga tira on the bank of ganga he just sat he did not know he was not searching for a guru he was searching for bhagavan and bhagavan sent the guru shukacharya came there tatra bhavat bhagavan vyasa putra yadrichaya gamatamano anapeksha and uh, that suta in bhagavata never utters the name of shukacharya because of a tradition generally we never utter the name of guru so we just say now i'll tell you only apariva or you know acharya apariva something like that we will say so like that he says vyasa putra bhagavan vyasa putra the worshipful son of vyasa he just arrived there and parikshit was beyond himself he just was in ecstasy seeing shukacharya and who is this is a purna chandra that has arisen in the ocean of bliss jnana mahabdhi chandramaha jnana <coughs> mahabdhi chandramaha and he just went and did a prostration a namaskara and shukacharya just said you are really a blessed person because such vairagya is very rare with so much vairagya vairagya means i want bhagavan nothing else vairagya is also actually bhakti only as in gopika geetam they say uh, itara raga vismaranam when i have raga to you i forget everything else when i have bhakti to you i forget everything else so vishesha ragam is vairagya vishishtamana ragam an intense attachment to bhagavan you forget everything else so with that vairagyam parikshit has come to ganga kula on the bank of ganga and there he sat so all this preface to the talk i spoke because to know what is vairagyam 
when you have vairagyam true vairagyam vairagyam is not uh, aversion it is intense bhakti you don't care for anything else when that kind of vairagyam has come has arisen that is very very blissful shankaracharya says i don't find anything so blissful than vairagya vairagyan param sukasya janakam pashyami vashyatmanah tachet shuddhataratma bodha sahida swarajya samrajya duk so with this we will enter the bhagavatam ekadasha skandam this time we are uh, going to enter ekadasha skandam just entry that's all i cannot say we will cover much in ekadasha skandam but last time we spoke about satyam param dhimahi bhagavata dharma and that nigamakalpataror galitam phalam these three verses and this time we are going to enter the ekadasha skandha in bhagavata ekadasha means 11th skandha 11th canto that is what they say that is how they translate skandha i don't know why they translate it as canto so that is the skandha 11th skandha 10th skandha is krishna katha and that skandha is called nirodha skandha nirodha skandha means nirodha means chitta vritti nirodha the mind is always running when the mind is put to quietude somehow either by bhagavat katha or by yoga marga it is chitta vritti nirodha but krishna katha it very easily comes to that nirodha by bhakti nirodhastu loga veda vyaparan nyasaha narada bhakti sutra he says nirodha means the person just gives up all the worldly interactions and vedic interactions also because there is krishna karnamritam uh, there is a verse verse where that villavangala he says a namaskar to sandhya vandanam namaskar to another namaskar to timely taking bath sandhya vandana vadramastu bhavate bo snana tubyam namaha when i chanted this verse one boy said please give me that shloka <laughs> because my mother is constantly telling do sandhya vandanam do timely bath so why he was like that he was merged in krishna bhakti krishna rasa because of that samadhi he just forgot about sleep about bath everything the body itself was forgotten so that way it is good so here that chitta vritti nirodha comes by krishna bhakti when forgets the world the sorrowful world tava katha amritam tapta jeevanam kavi bhiriditam kalma shapaham shravana mangalam श्रीमदातम भुवि गृणंति ते भूरिता जना वेन यू लिसन टू दट कथा यू जस्ट फॉरगेट एवरीथिंग द स्पीकर ऑल्सो फॉरगेट्स द लिसनर ऑल्सो फॉरगेट्स भागवता देर इज वन वर्स वेर ए डेवोटी इज इन्वाइटिंग द hamsa parama hamsa and requesting him please tell us a little for some time some katha a very beautiful verse 
हंसस्वागतवास्यतापयो ब्रूह्यंगशौरे कथा दिस इज actually we had lot of experience in this kind of things once from mumbai after a bhagavata saptamaham going back to kerala by train perhaps the train time is evening 5 o'clock one devotee came and said எங்க கிரகத்தில் உங்க கால் படணும் திஸ் இஸ் த லாங்குவேஜ் பிளீஸ் வி ஹாவ் அவர் ஹோம் ஷுட் பி பியூரிஃபைடு பை யுவர் ஃபீட் ஆல் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் தே வில் சே தென் ஐ செட் சி ஐ எம் ஆல்ரெடி ஷார்ட் ஆஃப் டைம் ஃபைவ் ஓ கிளாக் த ட்ரெயின் வில் கோ ஸோ யூ ஷுட் நாட் கம்பல் மீ லைக் திஸ் ஐ ஹாவ் டு ரஷ் ரெண்டு நிமிஷம் ஓன்லி டூ மினிட்ஸ் யூ ஹாவ் டு கம் தேர் நாட் மோர் தன் தட் ஓகே இட்ஸ் ஓன்லி ஆன் த வே வென் யூ கோ டு ரயில்வே ஸ்டேஷன் இட் இஸ் ஆன் த வே வென் வி ஆர் கோயிங் வெர் இஸ் த ஆன் த வே ரைட் சைட் யூ ஹாவ் டு டேக் எ டர்ன் from the main road where inge pakkathula da irukku and then go 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 after few kilometers that to you imagine in mumbai the traffic uh, already late when we went there they have made all arrangement with chair with all cloth everything ready and said okay go or two minutes okay and you can just sit hamsa swagatam asyadam okay go sit and with a tumbler milk or kunja kshiram a little milk you take and then and then they gave a tumbler of milk by the time i was drinking they have all sat like this ye grihat vandirkel or rendu vaarthe bhagavad vishayam bhagavad gunam sollite povan the person very well know my weakness because if i start i cannot stop so started 45 minutes and krishna is also a wonderful person because the train was late by 2 hours <laughs> so this is it hamsa swagatam asyatam pibapayo bruhyanga shaure katham see the hunger the longing for bhagavat katha you know that very longing is a samadhi state tomorrow we will get bhagavatam tomorrow we will get bhagavatam and when we are listening to bhagavatam that is a samadhi shushru shubhi takshanat that sadyo mukti it is you are not going to attain some vaikuntha the moment you are listening sadyo hridi avarudhyate trakriti bihi that very moment in the heart is shining for the this is samadhi this is a samadhi and when bhagavatam is finished there is a sorrow in mind oh it is over that is also a samadhi so this kind of that satsanga rasa that bhagavat katha rasa that bhagavat katha rasa is chitta vritti nirodha in all the ways there is chitta vritti nirodha the mind is not running here and there 
Kata, you are thinking about Bhagavan, you are thinking about Jnana, you are thinking about Vairagya, you are thinking about Bhakti. From morning to night, nothing else, no worldly talk, nothing. Gramya Katha Vighataha. As Bhagavata says, it puts a direct cut to all the Gramya Katha, worldly gossip. Because it makes your mind impure. While this Bhagavat Katha, it enters, it just purifies the mind like the Sharatkala Chandrika which purifies the water in a river. Saritasya Yatha Sharat Shamalam So like that, so this Chittavritti Nirodha and you just forget the world, you just forget your worldly troubles. Samsara tapavapanam. So all this trouble, all this worldly life, you know, one secret method to be free of suffering is not to think about it. In Mahabharata, Dharmaputra asked Bhishma, what is the way to be free of suffering? He said, the best way is Apunasmaranam sadho manye vismaranam varam. Forgetting it completely and not even remembering it again. And everybody knows that is why they are all. <laughs> Intuitively everyone knows. So they find some way of forgetting things in the world. There is trouble what to do. Do not be in this world. In Malayalam, there is a poem where he says, A drop of it goes inside. The world just disappears. So here, this Lahari, this Krishna Katha Lahari also, when it goes inside, the world disappears. As Swami Vivekananda wrote a letter to one, one of his disciples, that lady wanted to advise, give some advice to Swami. See, sometimes you know disciples also, they begin with humility and after that they will start teaching the Guru. You should know this, you should know this. Then he said, My dear mother, you do not know the sadhu. I have drunk from that portion which makes the world in nothing and all your logic is zero and man is instantaneously transformed as God and that portion I have drunk and the and, and the lahari yana arindi irukke madhuvundavanda pol janagad sanagadi munivar pol avadi eno varu or part kaivalya navanitam so, with that bhakti inside, the mind becomes quieter and quieter and quieter. You should train the mind to constantly live in a higher plane. To bring it to lower plane, all the forces are there around. The mobile and all the channels, YouTube, hmm? Even this comes in YouTube only, right? Bhagavan says you have to go to iTube. And I is light, U is darkness. Shankaracharya said, As Yushmad Asmat Prateya. So this Atma, Asmat Prateya is light. When you go to what this I is, go deep into yourself, it is pure Jyoti. And the same mind when it goes to you, it is darkness. So, you are not asked to go to YouTube, but to the tube within is the I. Go deep into the I. There is Jyoti. 
So all these outer things, other than the self, the anatma vastu, it is all there to distract, to make the mind vikshipta, scattered. You lose the energy, shakti, virya. So you have to bring the mind constantly to a higher level, keep it in the plane of bhakti, and then slowly lift it to the state of that samadhi, that jnana, that swarupasthiti. So first, that nirodha skanda, the mind is made quieter by upasana, by bhakti. And in the next skanda is mukti skanda. Mukti rihitva anyatha bhavam swarupena vyavasthiti. That mukti means atma jnana. Mukti is not some post mortem experience. Mukti is here now when your mind is turned towards the self, towards your own atman. That is what happened to Parikshit also at last. He said, Abhayam Darshitam. I have found fearlessness here, now. I have found Aham Brahma Param Dhamma Brahma Aham Paramam Padam. My very nature as Brahman, as Brahman Nirvana. So this is Mukti. Mukti is freedom when you know the self, when you know what your true nature is, when you know that you are not the body or the mind or the ego, and then in your real nature you know that you are Nitya Shuddha Buddha Mukta Swarupa. Then Mukti is not going anywhere. Mukti is there in you as your own real nature, as your own real being. And that is being revealed in the eleventh skandha, broadly there are two portions in the eleventh skandha. The first portion is you have the Nava Yogi Upakhyana that we will see what it is. Nava Yogi means the Nayan Jivan Muktas. They were born to the great sage Rishabha Yogeshwara. His story comes in the fifth skanda. You know the Jains. They have many, many Tirthankaras. Vardhamana Mahavira is the last Tirthankara of Jains. They worship Tirthankaras. They don't worship God. For them, Tirthankaras. Tirthankara means a jnani, a jivan mukta only. Wherever they go, they purify that place. When you go, you approach them, you are also purified. Tirthi kurvanti. From that word only, that, that name has come. Tirthi kurvanti. Whomsoever approach them, they are made tirtha. They are purified. <coughs> Such a person is a Jivan Mukta, a Tirthankara. And the first Tirthankara is Rishabhadeva. Bhagavada also refers about that. And the last Tirthankara that they speak is Vardhamana Mahavira. In between they have lot of Tirthankaras, about 27 or something like that. So Rishabhadeva belongs to the Jain Mada also, actually there is no Jain religion or Buddhist religion. It is all offshoots. Swami Vivekananda said, My religion is that to which Buddhism is a rebel child and Jainism is an offshoot. So, these Tirthankaras, and that Rishabhadeva was a Mahagrihastha in his Purvashrama. And there he had many, many children, hundred children. And that nine of them, they became Jivan Muktas. Liberated beings. 
and their story comes here kavi hari antariksha prabuddha pippalayana avirhotra drumila chamasa and karabhajana and the story is being told see the bhagavatam one inside one another 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 like that koshanta koshavat inside one kosha another kosha like that bhagavata the whole story is being narrated by suta to shaunaka the rishis see if you have bhavana the moment a kathakara tells you in the naimisharanya all the sages are sitting there and the great bahuracha the great sage who was a mantra drashta of rigveda the shaunaka maharshi he is asking suta pauranika tell us the story of the lord amidst a yaga yagna the moment you have that picture that itself is a very uplifting spiritual experience then comes shukacharya on the bank of ganga it is not like modern lecture where a swami ji goes and gives a lecture in a five star hotel on the bank of ganga in a very sacred atmosphere surrounded by all virakta mahatmas all dispassionate bhakta jnana surrounded by stars he is shining there shukacharya like that so like that in the 11th skanda a, a new conversation happens the conversation is between vasudeva who is vasudeva krishna's father so we will think because he is krishna's father that is enough but vasudeva says even for me without satsanga there is no sama bhagavad bhava so this is told because even for krishna's father satsanga is needed even for great sages satsanga is needed shri ramakrishna says every day he will go to the top of that bhavatarani temple and will weep and say my children where are you all of you come to me all this worldly talk listening to them it is just like pouring boiled molten iron in my ears to whom will i talk about bhagwan bhakti jnana vairagya so even for a sage satsanga is needed actually for a jnani there is no sadhana we think a jnani also a sanyasi also has to do puja actually for a sanyasi puja is not allowed even for advaita sanyasi i am talking about upasana sanyasa is there for advaita sanyasi bahya puja na kartavya so what will he do the only thing is constant satsanga only vedanta vichara only the first thing is either he will remain in samadhi kala niryapanaya kurute hmm? sadashiva brahmendra says paryapta sarva vibhavo vibhava chidipopi tadvat edvat chaturanga leelam kala niryapanaya kurute like that uh, the yogi also um, remains in samadhi or satsanga or bhagavan nama kirtana this alone is the thing for a paramahamsa also that is why bhagavata is called paramahamsa samhita it is not a family man samhita it is a paramahamsa samhita but when it is a paramahamsa samhita it is for all family people for all children for all people everyone it is they are all included there because even paramahamsa are enjoying it आत्माश मुन निर्ग्रंथा उक्रमे कुरुवंती अहैदुकी भक्ति मिथंभूतगुणो हरि दे आर आत्मा 
they are delighting in the self their ignorance is gone bondage is gone the jivan mukta has liberated beings they also chant the nama of bhagwan see one of the most beautiful song bruhi mukundeti rasane bruhi mukundeti very simple song it is like a nursery rhyme some bhagavan nama alone is there केशव माधव गोविंदे कृष्णानंद सदानंदे यू नो हू रोड दिस सॉन्ग दिस सच ए सिंपल सॉन्ग वॉज रिटर्न बै दट ग्रेट अवधूत जीवन मुक्त परमहंस सदाशिव ब्रह्मेन्द्र स्वामी वन हू रोड द आत्म विद्यालास he wrote this such sweet namakirtana because for a jeevan mukta what else is there to do nothing else nothing to attain nothing to achieve just to go on chanting the nama even bhagwan ramana maharshi in aksharamana mala he says anbod un namam kel anbartam anbark anbanaida arul arunachala He says, "Oh Aruna, chala, let me be a devotee of a devotee who is a devotee of a devotee who chants your name." Tvat bhritya bhritya paricha aara ka bhritya bhritya par like that. So this was sung by Bhagwan Ramana. So that bhakti has such a sweetness. satsanga is needed for all and even for krishna's father satsanga is needed even for krishna satsanga is needed in the war field krishna said arjuna why fight we will talk geeta all these foolish people i have assembled here to fight we will speak about advaishta sarvabhutanam is this the teaching that has to be given in the war field advaishta sarvabhutanam maitrah karuna evacha by the way i can remind our commentary on bhagavad gita is available here uh, oh mama was reminding me that this is a very profound commentary on gita which contains all the bhagavatam stories vairagya jnanam everything that gita you can just give the greatest presentation that can be given to somebody is bhagavad gita because this world is the war field in a war field you cannot take a holiday you cannot say i will go now the bell will ring we will go for breakfast and come back and fight no time in that war field krishna says remain in yoga sthiti yoga sthakur karmani remain in yoga and fight ma manusmara yuddhe cha how to do that you have to struggle to that state where you will not lose your samadhi whatever may be happening around you are anchorage in the lord is eternal it is nitya sahaja with that you live in the world so this is the message so satsanga is needed for everyone and who was coming to have satsanga it is bhagwan narada the great sage narada maharshi is guru for bhagavata sampradaya so narada maharshi very often was coming to dwaraka because he wanted to have darshan of krishna so very often narada was making a visit to dwaraka govinda bhujaguptayam dwaravatyam kurudvah 
अवात्सीति नारदो भिक्षणम कृष्णोपासन लाल ही वॉज एक्चुअली वेरी ग्रीडी टू बी विथ कृष्ण नारद भक्ति सूत्र नारद से एवरी वन विल हैव ग्रीड बट यू हैव टू टर्न द ग्रीड टूवर्ड्स भगवान लाइक ए मैसर इज अटैच टू मनी लाइक द रिवर इज अटैच टू ओशन लाइक द अंकोला सीड इज अटैच टू द ट्री लाइक ए क्रीपर इज अटैच टू द ट्री like that you have to be attached to bhagwan whatever may happen around again and again remember that you have to turn towards him so reminding that narada was very often in dwaraka avatsit not only visit he was staying there an apartment he took there avatsi he was staying there narada will not stay but he was staying abikshram very often but what to do narada had a curse so more than 3 days more than few days he cannot stay anywhere so he will go to the border and come back again si sanyasis also do like that you know chaturmasya they don't want to leave a place but after chaturmasya they have to go somewhere so from bangalore you go to osur and come back to bangalore like that narada was doing abikshnam very often again and again there are some devotees they do like that you drive them to this door they will come through that door they will say Uh, we have office we have to go to office what to do but we don't want to leave satsanga what to do then i will spend some one hour and convince them you have to go family is there you have to do work everything they will go today and tomorrow they will come there are some devotees here who from far away place will catch a plane and come to satsanga after finishing the office in the day time evening they will come by flight and in night go by train morning reach that place finish the office evening by flight come to satsanga to chennai from coimbatore i can say that they are there they will know so this is mumukshutva this is bhakti bubuksha the hunger for bhakti costless devotion nishkarana bhakti nothing to gain nothing to achieve nothing to attain nothing to become but ju- just that you want to be in satsanga you want to be with see bhagwan uh, ramana maharshi had many devotees like that they used to rush to him from distance just to be there ramakrishna had many devotees like that one devotee will come from office all the way take a horse chariot and come there by driving almost for 2 hours and then come and sit there and sleep ramakrishna will say let him sleep at least he is sleeping here but don't you do that <laughs> because it will be difficult so narada came and stayed in dwaraka and he says konu rajan indriyavan mukunda charanam bujam na bhajeti sarvato mrityu upasyam amarot tamai this is the beginning of that ekadasha skanda where he says uh you have all the senses open and you have this rare opportunity to worship the lord because sarvato mrityu wherever you look death is there so 
so the only way is hold on to him hold on to him one day narada came sukhavasinam architam vasudevo grahagatam narada when he came vasudevo what did he do he just went with a water in his vessel and worshiped had his pada prakshalana because a great sage is visiting and did archana charanam pavitram vitatam puranam ena putastarati duskritani he worshiped his feet and made him sit there sukhavasinam when he was sitting happily abhivadyedam abravid after doing namaskara he told him bhagwan you are traveling so much for our sake bhagavan bhavato yatram swasthaye sarvadehinam kripananam yatha pitroho uttama shloka vartmanam a mumukshu consider his spiritual teacher as his father sing when pipalada gave the teaching to his disciples in the prashna upanishad the brahmacharis they say tvam hi na pita yo asmagam tamasaf param darshayate asmagam na pita you are our father when you go to bhagavan you say bhagavan you are my father you are my mother like that the very beginning rigveda the first mantra agni mele purohitam where the rishi says sanaf pite vasunave agne supayano bhava o agni you are like my father be approachable to me so with that when deva rishi came vasudeva said you are my father when i see you i feel like seeing a father because we are all krupana in gita also when you study gita this name comes where does it come question and answer session hmm krupana hmm allowed eh huh? krupana Uh, where does it come karpanya dosho pahata swabhava arjuna says bhagavan my mind is being clouded by kripana bhava karpanya dosha kripana means a very petty person who has got this rare chance of being born in this world as a human being that too in this bharata varsha where you have all the sages bhagavad avatara everything still you fail to have a adhyatma jivita as a spiritual life bhakti jnanam then such a person is krupana such a person is krupana the sages the, the upanishad says that so vasudeva says i am a krupana then what should we do vasudeva who have krishna has his son he says bhagwan although krishna is our son whenever we see him we feel only that he is a child he is our son so we never utilized his presence as a guru so you have to give us the teaching for that only you are traveling devas you know sometimes they will they will do good thing they will do bad thing also but sadhu a paramahamsa will always do only that what is good for you सुखा साधूना 
ತ್ವಾದೃಶಾಂ ಅಚ್ಚುತಾತ್ಮನ ಸೊ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಆಸ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಭಾಗವತ ಧರ್ಮ see a few chapters before vasudeva asked krishna also it is not that always he was forgetting now and then he will remember so he asked krishna krishna tell me please what is the truth krishna said father you i you all this dwaraka everything is nothing but atma is only the atman nothing else exists do not forget this the moment you forget this sorrow is waiting to attack you invade your life so the satsanga is constant you know you will forget every now and then and you need remi- reminder we are all sitting here to remind so here he says brahman stata api prichhamo dharman bhagavatan stava ಯಾನ್ ಶ್ರುತ್ವ ಶ್ರದ್ಧೆಯ ಮರ್ತ್ಯೋ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಸರ್ವತೋ ಭಯಾತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ದ ಫಲ ವಸುದೇವ ಸೆಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಎ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಲಿಸನ್ಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಶ್ರದ್ಧ ಹಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲೂಟ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಮುಚ್ಯತೆ ಸರ್ವತೋ ಭಯಾತ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೇರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಟು ಬಿ ಫ್ರೀ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫಿಯರ್ constantly i have to listen to this teaching this brahma vidya this atma vidya this bhagavata dharma i got krishna as my son because i worshiped him but not for gnanam only for getting a child hence this vyasana is continuing vichitra vyasana even though you have satsanga you do, even though you have all the spiritual teaching even though all the sages are available still people are suffering hence vasudeva says vichitra vyasana it is a very strange kind of suffering that you have in this world you can be happy but you choose to suffer vichitra vyasanad ಭವದ್ಭಿ ವಿಶ್ವತೋ ಭಯಾತ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ವೇರ್ ಯು ಲುಕ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಫ್ರೀ ಯು ಲಾಡ್ ಹೌ ಟೆಲ್ ಮೀ ಸಮ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪಾತ್ ಅಂಜಸ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಸ್ಥಾನ ತ್ರಯ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೂ ಎ ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗ ಫಾರ್ ಸಮ್ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಟೈಮ್ ಅಥಾತೋ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಜಿಜ್ಞಾಸ ಹಿ ರನ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಲಾಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸಿಂಪ್ಲಿ ದ ರೀಸನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಗಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಲೇಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಡುಕೇಶನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಇನ್ಸೆನ್ಸಿಟಿವ್ we cannot listen we cannot register we are powerless to do manana nidhi dhyasana everything we have swallowed all the undigestible stuff so difficult so please give us some simple method by which we will muchema we will become free i want to pass the examination not ready to write see uh, formerly children now children have become very studious but when we were all studying even before that also this people you know they were very bhaktas they will not study they will write in the answer paper sir there is so much problem in my family so i cannot study somehow kripaya give me pass mark that is how we are asking bhagwan also hmm? bhagwan anjasa show us some simple path simple method by which we will attain liberation we will attain peace 
ಶಾಧಿ ಸುವ್ರತ ಶಾಧಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅನುಷಾಧಿ ಟೀಚ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಮಿಟ್ ದಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಬೈ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಅಟೇನ್ ದಟ್ ಅಬ್ಸಲ್ಯೂಟ್ ಫಿಯರ್ಲೆಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ಅಭಯಂ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ವಿಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಮೀ ಫಿಯರ್ಲೆಸ್ when vasudeva who was an intelligent person asked see vasudeva is not an ordinary person when he heard that krishna is going to be born as his eighth child he stood there with suffering he saw kamsa killing his children dus kim dusaham nu sadhu naam when parikshit said how did he endure shukacharya said he is a great sage what is there that a sage cannot endure that is why yes that titiksha shakti he suffered the death of all his children just waiting for the birth of the divine rajan evam krita prashno vasudeve na dhimata pritah atmah devarshi hi ಹರೇಹಿ ಸಂಸ್ಮಾರಿತೋ ಗುಣೈಹಿ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಸೇಜ್ ಅನ್ ಆರದ ವಿ ಕೆಮ್ ವೆರಿ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ವೆನ್ ವಸುದೇವ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಭಾಗವತ ಧರ್ಮ ಸಾಲ್ ಪ್ಯೂರ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಸಾಧನ ಓನ್ಲಿ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಎಲ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವೆನ್ ವಸುದೇವ ಆಸ್ಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ನಾರದ ವಿ ಕೆಮ್ ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈ ಸೇಡ್ a real questioner is needed to give this teaching it is like milking a cow now you are here i am ready the heart is open i will give you the teaching so we will continue this tomorrow morning 7:30 morning 7:30 is bhagavata satsanga we will continue ekadasha skanda evening like that the same time day after tomorrow there is a special satsanga sat in uh, shankaramat <coughs> shringiri shankaramat baswangudi hmm? chamraj pet that is 10 o'clock morning 10 o'clock that that they will announce tomorrow satyam jnanam anantam nit ಮನಾಕಾಶಂ ಪರಮಾಕಾಶಂ ಗೋಷ್ಠ ಪ್ರಾಂಗಣರಿಂಗಣಲೋಲಮನಾಸ ಪರಮಾಸ ಮಾಕಲ್ಪಿತಕಾರಮನಾಕಾರ ಭುವನಾಕಾರ ಶ್ಮಾಥ ಮನಾಥ ಪ್ರಣಮತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಮೃತ್ಸ್ನಾಮತ್ಸಿಹೇತಿ ಯಶೋದ ತಾಡನ ಶೈಶವ ಸಂತ್ರಾಸ ವ್ಯಾಧಿತ ವಕ್ತ್ರೋಕಿತೋಕಾಲೋಕಚತುರ್ದಶಲೋಕಾಲಿ ಲೋಕತ್ರಯಪುರಮೂಲಸ್ತಂಭ ಲೋಕಾಲೋಕಮನಾಲೋಕ ಲೋಕೇಶ ಪರಮೇಶ ಪ್ರಣಮತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ಭಜ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ ತ್ರೈವಿಷ್ಟಪರಿಪುವೀರಘ್ನ ಕ್ಷಿತಿಭಾರಘ್ನ ಭವರೋಗಘ್ನ ಕೈವಲ್ಯಂ ನವನೀತಾಹಾರಮನಾಹಾರ ಭುವನಾಹಾರ ವೈಮಲ್ಯಸ್ಫುಟಚೇತೋ ವೃತ್ತಿ ವಿಶೇಷಾಸ ಅನಾಸ ಶೈವ ಕೇವಲ ಶಾಂತ ಪ್ರಣಮತ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಪರಮಂದ 
గోవిందం పరమానందం భజ గోవిందం పరమానందం గోవిందం పరమానందం భజ గోవిందం పరమానందం యథో మమాత్మాభవసిత్వమేవ తథో న వాచ్యం మమ కించితస్తి యథాతవేష్టం కురు మాం తథైవ త్వాం ఆత్మనాథం రమణం భజాత్ర గోవిందనామ సంకీర్తనం జానకీకాంతస్మరణం హరణమః పార్వతీపతయే